A Ramallah-based BBC digital reporter being investigated today by the UK public broadcaster after it was revealed she had posted Hitler was right on her Twitter page. The tweet is from seven years ago, recently unearthed by Israeli organization Honest Reporting. In the tweet, journalist Tala Halawa also said Israel's more Nazi than Hitler was. Anti-Semitic hashtags have frequently gone viral during conflicts in recent years with Hamas. Just this month alone, the Anti-Defamation League reports that during the Hamas escalation, the hashtag Hitler was right was posted more than 17,000 times. Another disturbing example, the hashtag COVID-1948 has been trending on Twitter too in several countries, including the United States. That hashtag likens the birth of the state of Israel in 1948 to the COVID virus. And people often are posting explicitly anti-Jewish messages and photos along with their messages. With us now is Hen Mazig, senior fellow at the Tel Aviv Institute and social media activist and writer. And thank you so much for being with us. 17,000 posts and retweets of the Hitler was right hashtag. Certainly sounds like a lot. Why aren't these tech companies putting an end to it? Yeah, that's a, that's a brilliant question. That's a, something that we all ask ourselves. How come those giant of social media um, um, uh, organizations, companies that have billions of dollars of worth uh, and have the ability to monitor anything they want to do uh, are not able to stop that. And the problem is that it doesn't stay online. Everything that starts online goes out to the street. And we've seen it in the recent uh, cycle of violence between Israel and, and Hamas, where um, uh, in the streets of New York and London and uh, LA and Argentina and Germany, Jewish people were uh, suffering from violence because of this hate speech online. And I think I think that's, uh, that's a really important question to raise to those social media companies and to say why can't you do that because you do have the funds to do it. But I think the answer that they would probably not be able to tell you is that their stock value is worth more than Jewish lives. In, in recent years, in the rise of, rise of the social media age, there have been two major conflicts now with Hamas terrorists in Gaza when we have really a, a generally accepted use of social media like Facebook and Twitter and other social media uh, outlets as well. But we have 2014 uh, Protective Edge and now uh, Operation Guardian of the Walls. What has changed uh, in how people are posting uh, uh, their feelings about Israel, their feelings about Jews between then and now? I think people are much more um, tech savvy these days. People are using social media more. We've, we've you know, we've come out, come, came out after uh, over a year long of uh, being in quarantine and being with our phones and with our computers. Um, and people have gotten used to spreading information online. And we're seeing it uh, with people like uh, Bella and Gigi Hadid, the famous supermodels, and and uh, celebrities like uh, Mark Ruffalo that had to apologize for an anti-Semitic. Um, comments that he, that he made and realized that his comments actually caused violence against Jews. So it doesn't I think, just stay online. It's not just some random not. tweet that no one sees. It can have real world consequences. Absolutely. And we've seen it with the shooting in Pittsburgh. And we've seen it with shooters all over the world, actually, that are being radicalized online. And Facebook in 2018 uh, came under pressure for allowing the, uh, the genocide in Myanmar. And everyone were criticizing them, but they're still not doing anything. So I think that the answer is clear. They don't really care about our lives. What do you make, though, of the argument that some say that uh, in some of these comments or these hashtags are not anti-Semitic, they are harsh, uh, but it is legitimate if unfair, but legitimate criticism that is valid to compare, to use the Nazi metaphor or to compare Israel to a virus, as disgusting as that is, it shouldn't be censored. It shouldn't be taken down because it doesn't directly call for violence or attacks of any kind. I think it's naive, and I think it's uh, to use, first of all, to use Jewish trauma to attack Israel and Jews is, is disgusting, and it's anti-Semitic. I think that that's something we, everyone should avoid uh, doing. Um, but further, I, I really think that people um, can criticize Israel. We've seen criticism of Israel. Actually, people are being celebrated. I mentioned J Gigi and Bella Hadid, uh, Mark Ruffalo, uh, Dua Lipa, uh, singers and celebrities that are being actually celebrated because you can get canceled for anti-Semitism. You can get canceled for anything else other than anti-Semitism. Um, and I think that it's, uh, people really need to understand that this hate speech um, is not just staying online, as we said. And when there are violent attacks, and when in London we've seen an increase of 500% in one week in anti-Semitic incidents, then you have to think twice when you tweet about Israel, because you need to understand that what you're saying has influence. And I, I hate to say it, but if Hitler had a Twitter account, and this, it, it, 
you know, Jews, more, way more Jews would be killed uh, during the Holocaust than, than they actually were. Now we have Mark Ruffalo apologizing. Uh, I seem to be acknowledging that saying Israel is committing genocide, uh, that he is taking things too far. Is that a step in the right direction? It is a step in the right direction, and I actually I saw many people that were applauding this uh, this apology. Um, but we can't negate what he's been doing, and people like him. And when you have millions of followers, you know, as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. He will know this quote. Um, there's there's so much so much harm that you can do, and I think that social media platforms and, and social media giants have to take responsibility. You can't say that we can't control what's going on on our platforms. And if Hitler was right, it's trending. Jewish people have to speak up and, and make sure that those companies are seeing us as equal and, and realize that our lives are in danger and they have to make a stop to it.